We begin with that school threat in Fort Lauderdale. Chopper 6 over the scene as officers responded to Dillard High School this morning after reports of a possible shooting threat. Police are telling us that multiple students were detained. It's a story we have been following for you all day long, so let's pick up now with the very latest as Amanda Placencia is on scene. Joining us uh, with what we know at this hour, Amanda. Well, Roxy and Shelly, first and foremost, everyone is safe now as students have been released. But it was quite a tense morning here at Dillard High School as the school was placed on lockdown. And let's get right to some of those images from Chopper 6, which was flying overhead earlier, showing all of that police activity inside and outside of this school campus. And according to Fort Lauderdale Police, the school was placed on lockdown around 1030 a.m. because of a, quote, possible shooting threat. Officers say they detained multiple students as they worked to clear all of the buildings on this campus, which serves grades 6 to 12. Now, this is the second time in a month that the school has been placed on lockdown. On March 3rd, a student threatened that they had a bomb. They were eventually given the all clear, and the Broward County School Board will determine if that student will be disciplined. Now, in today's lockdown, the school principal sent out a message to parents saying that law enforcement was investigating a potential threat as they assured parents that all students and staff were safe. Parents we spoke with say they're glad no one was hurt or injured, but they expressed their frustrations. So as a parent, yeah, next year for sure. Um, this is my son's last year. My daughter's last year will be online. I, this is ridiculous. It's very stressful because every day, every week is always something to where the school is going on lockdown for something. And it has really nothing to do with the school. It's the surrounding area around the school. And it's not fair to the kids. Let alone it's not fair to the parents because we don't drop our kids off to a schoolhouse for them to feel unsafe or unsecure or unprotected. Definitely some frightening moments for parents and students today. Now, why this all happened or the circumstances behind this threat are still unknown at this point. There are limited details from police, but they do tell us this is being investigated at this time. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Amanda Placencia, NBC6 News.